Hi everyone, hope the day finds you well. Thank you very much for stopping into my channel. Wanted to uh, just chat briefly today about the big news for all of you fellow Nikon Z series owners. The new firmware 2.20 update uh, rolled out today. A couple big things from this update. Now as Z owners, we're gonna have the ability to use CF Express cards as well as XQD cards. But unfortunately, at this time we can only use the Sony CF Express cards. From what I understand, with further updates, uh, they are going to make it compatible with other brands as well. Not sure uh, exactly what the differences are there between them, but as time goes on um, and more brands come out, it's going to be more competition, which is good. It'll hopefully, bring the pricing down on some of these cards, as you know, as well as I do. If you're a Z owner, um, one of the big things is these cards are very expensive. And so the big news, of course, for all you filmmakers out there, uh, like me, I do hybrid shooting, so really excited about the ProRes. As you all know, we've been uh, looking forward to the ProRes RAW update uh, since January. At that time, we, we thought that it was just going to be a firmware update. Now it is basically going to be a paid service. So what you're going to have to do is if you're interested in that ProRes RAW, you're going to have to pay $200 and you're going to have to send your uh, camera into Nikon. So for someone like me who does basically a, you know camera vlogs like this, uh, my wife and I also do a travel vlog. Um, so for my videos, you know the flat profile and what have you that the system already has with the 4K and the slow motion, it's going to be plenty good for me. But for you folks that are aspiring filmmakers and are really going to be taking this camera to new levels, um, that's a huge update for you. Of course, you do have to use uh, an external recorder because it only works uh, via HDMI. It's not internal on the ProRes RAW. So yeah, let's jump on the computer real quick, look at a little bit of the specs about all of these updates and uh, go into a little bit more detail. So we'll talk about a little bit what's going on with the new updates. So you have CF Express support. Uh, so version 2.2 brings support for CF Express memory cards. It's high performance memory cards offer greater storage capacity and faster transfer rates up to one gigabyte per second. So blazing fast. Uh, and then, of course, the big news, the ProRes RAW upgrade. Again, we talked about $199.95, so basically $200 there. you got to send it, uh, plus shipping, so you have to send it into a Nikon repair facility, um, and they're going to do the update for you there. Uh, basically pre prepares the Z6 and Z7 for optional paid upgrade, which we kind of talked about, and brings ProRes RAW capability when using select Atomos capture devices. So if we hit learn more here uh, you can see you're going to ship it they're going to hold the thing for a few days and then of course they're going to give it back to you so uh, if you're not familiar with what ProRes RAW is it's basically going to give you raw video which is going to kind of help with the dynamic range if you've you know again if you're not a real filmmaker is it worth spending two hundred dollars for the update plus um, you know, I think those Ninja, Atomos Ninja 5s run around $700, so you're really, you're talking close to $1,000 to update this thing. And trust me, you'll know if you're a user that needs it or not. If you're kind of a, just a vlogger or somebody like me who really doesn't do a lot of video, you know, filmmaking, probably not going to be something that you're going to need. Uh, one thing I, I did forget to mention that is if you did buy the Filmmaker kit, uh, for the Z6 or Z7, you do not have to pay for the upgrade, uh, but you may still have to pay for shipping. You'll want to look into that. It's ProRes for me. ProRes RAW is for serious videographers who desire enhanced control over the final output of their video file. If you own an Atomos Ninja 5 video recorder and use Final Cut Pro X software, keep in mind now if you don't use Final Cut Pro, fortunately I do, but I'm not even going to do the update, but if you don't use Final Cut Pro, then at this time, uh, that is not going to work for you. All right, so that's it. A couple big uh, upgrades. And uh, I will mention one more thing, too. If you haven't upgraded your firmware yet, I just got this camera last week, and I realized that you can't upgrade the firmware with just the USB straight to your computer. You actually have to have a card reader, um, which I don't have. I actually do have here. I purchased a um, one from Rocket Tech through Amazon. Got a lot of really good reviews. I think it's $20. I'll leave a link below. Anyway, until next week, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.